Hello, it's nice to have you back today. Um, welcome back once more. My name is Anthony Emmanuel. Um, today I'm gonna expand further on workflow notification, or not just workflow notification, notification in general. This notification. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to kind of work on uh, sending a notification based on rules. And uh, this time around. I'm going to show you how to export your notification to your app so that you can actually, you know, move the notification around whenever you install your app to a different instance or platform, the notification will be moved along. And um, how do you achieve that from your decks? Um, you can go straight to your settings. And from the settings, you will find just below the email notification, you see the notification. Now on the notification itself, the last notification I created was workflow, but recall it's not just workflow. This notification can be used for any other documents. And one thing I want to show you is you can actually export this workflow. I'm um, not the workflow, you can actually export the notification to be installed in any um, ERP next or FRAP instance of your choice. Now to make it exportable, you see this is standard. It should be checked and you select the module. The module should be your custom app. You're gonna see a list of inbuilt or default modules, but my custom app was selected. Just exit it up. Once you select this and it is saved, then this workflow of yours will be exported to a notification folder in your custom app. Okay, um, I'm gonna use the source code editor. Here's the custom app, estate app. You scroll down to estate app and the module estate app. Why it will be exported to this estate app is that the document in question, um, the document in question is property. I selected here. The property belongs to the estate app module, meaning that the notification itself be exported to the estate module. And in estate module, if Folder will be automatically created. The folder name is notification. You can extend the expand the notification and you see property here or the doc type you are using at the moment. Once you expand it, you are going to find these three files. Um, the first is the JSON that defines the configuration. You can see the conditions in there. We have drafts, uh, the conditions, workflow states, draft, pending approval, pending CEO approval and this one for the subject you can see that down here the conditions for sending out emails and that's it for the configuration next is the um python um you can define some you know code here that actually performs some actions the context would be the component of this uh, of the doc type and the notification why the important aspect here is this property.md. MD stands for markdown. This MD contains the message that will be sent out when the notification is uh, kickstarted. And it should be written with ginger. You can access your property document with your doc. Now take a, note, a look at this. This uh, we struggled with the last time that we could not save, which is an issue uh, from my end anyway. Um, whatever you enter into that markdown will be present in here. I'm going to save what I have just typed. Hello. Save. Now, I may have to reload this page. Okay, reload complete. Um, can scroll down and you see what I just typed. Doc, hello. That's for the property.md markdown. If your doc type is sales invoice, you configure a notification for sales invoice. Then this file here should be sales invoice, sales underscore invoice, everything of the sales underscore invoice, and the folder of the sales underscore invoice. Meaning that you have to declare where um, this notification is to be sent, the module. Now, whenever you push your app outside, your notification will move with it. And once you install it, it will automatically be added to your notification list. That just it. Um, I mean, let me just try to test another notification setting so we can see. I may call it. Um, let me take a look at my custom door. 
I have to just check my custom doc types. I think I have a, a doc type for agents. Yeah, agents. Then I might call it agents. Uh, okay, yeah, agents notification. Yeah, agents. Send a, a lot on value change. Uh, uh, image. Yes, yeah. I'm just only interested in this exporting it. Okay, first I'm gonna save this. Okay, um, recipient. I may just have to risk configure this recipient here. Save. Okay, take a look at this. You can check through our module and notification. You see, we only have property now. Can go up, select a standard, select the module, save. Now we can check our code once more, expand. Now you see the agent is already present. You can expand the agent and you find the configuration down here. So that is just how to export notification. It is not just about workflow. Recall you can configure notification for different methods or related issues to a doc type not just workflow but any other you know actions that can be triggered in your workflow so that's just it and uh, thanks for watching please do like and subscribe and uh, remember remember to click the bell button once a new video is available you get notification instantly thank you